Hey guys, Kayla here with My Airbags. Our team is dedicated to helping vehicle owners, auto dealers, auto body repair shops, and collision centers with their vehicles post-collision needs. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel below. Please make sure if at any point during this video you have questions, please let us know in the comments below or visit our community forum. The forum link is in the video description. We want to help you in any way that we can. Today, we'll be sharing with you what an airbag connector plug is, what it's used for, and where they're located. Our company offers same-day service and 24-hour service turnaround, but we also want to share our knowledge with you 24-7. We have a lot of people ask us what an airbag connector plug is and what it's used for. First, our family-owned and operated company exists to recycle and repair parts while saving our customers hundreds of dollars. Automotive safety is a priority to us as it helps to save lives every single day. And we really believe everyone should have easy access to affordable vehicle repair resources. To us, it's important as leaders in the industry to share tips as we value transparency and honesty. So here at My Airbags, we're setting the standard in meaning and doing what we say even by passing it down to other small businesses. Check out our other video on airbag connectors and what causes them to melt or go bad. There are many names for an airbag connector plug. They're also referred to as clock spring plugs, clock spring connectors, harness connectors, airbag plugs, airbag terminal connectors, squibs, or even pigtails. An airbag connector plug is one of the vehicle's main safety restraint system connectors, or SRS connectors for short. This connector was created specifically to ensure that the electrical wiring provides a stable electrical connection to the pyrotechnic airbag. That's the technical way of saying it anyways. Once the sensors have detected a crash, the vehicle's airbag inflation system reacts and produces a chemical reaction by combining sodium azide and potassium nitrate, creating nitrogen gas to inflate the airbag. Did you know that from the time the impact sensor detects vehicle impact or collision to the time of the airbag being fully inflated only takes 25 milliseconds or 0.025 seconds? That's almost 200 miles an hour. A force like this can be dangerous. So this is why its most important feature is to minimize the unnecessary electrical spikes in the electrical connection to ensure there's not a misfire of an airbag. SRS connectors can be located all over a vehicle and airbag connectors are located wherever there's an airbag. Of course, the location varies with every make and model. Airbag connector plugs are often attached to the back of an airbag. Because a lot of airbags are placed in the steering wheel, they can also be considered located inside of the clock spring. For those who don't know, the clock spring allows electrical connections between the stationary steering column and the rotating steering wheel. These electrical connections include the horn, the airbag, speed control, and sometimes even audio control. Clock springs are designed to hold connections to reduce the risk of damage or interference to the wiring cables. It's basically a spiral wound rotary electrical connector that allows the steering wheel to turn. It's extremely important to make sure your airbag connector plugs are in good condition for the safety of the vehicle's driver and its occupants. There are a couple of scenarios you'd need to check your airbag connector plugs, such as when replacing seatbelts or a clock spring. SRS connectors are easily damaged when removing the original part, especially a clock spring. It's much easier and more cost-effective to replace the airbag connector plugs than removing the clock spring. Unfortunately, it's very easy to damage a clock spring removing it or reinstalling it incorrectly, and will require part replacement for both the clock spring and the airbag connector plugs. The most predominant scenario these connectors are damaged in, though, is a vehicle accident. Frequently, these clock spring connectors melt simply from airbag deployment. It's normal because when the igniter in the airbag inflation system is triggered, it burns a solid propellant to produce nitrogen gas. But because the nitrogen gas produces heat during the airbag inflation process, the airbag and the connectors located behind the airbag absorb the heat during the conversion from solid to gas. As long as airbag inflation systems include nitrogen gas, it will always be very common for airbag plugs or airbag connectors, whichever you want to call them, to melt. But there's more that's usually involved when a vehicle is in an accident, and airbags deploy that isn't very widely known. First, the airbag light on a vehicle's dashboard will turn on because of the collision itself. To turn it off, the vehicle's airbag control module requires a reset to clear all of the crash codes, hard codes, soft codes, and latch codes, on top of replacing the airbag connector plugs. Unfortunately, it's also extremely common for a vehicle's seatbelts to malfunction after being involved in an accident. Some of the most common issues experienced with seatbelts include them being locked, stuck, cut, torn, or ripped requiring repair. 
Additionally, seatbelts have pyro sensors built into them that are triggered by impact sensors that initiate a seatbelt locking in an accident, similar to the airbag. If this has occurred, then there will be a seatbelt code stored in your airbag control module and could be a secondary reason as to why the airbag light is on. It's really important to make all repairs and resets necessary, as it's really dangerous for all occupants of a vehicle in motion if a seatbelt retention or malfunction is occurring or there's a non-active airbag. Place your order today for your exclusive universal airbag connector plug kit, airbag control module reset, and seatbelt repair on our website listed below in the description. Make sure you have your part numbers and OBD2 fault codes from the diagnostic scan to share with us so that we can ensure to repair your part and have it returned to you as soon as two business days. Once you receive your part, we make sure that you can simply just plug it into your vehicle and be done. My Airbags also offers active headrest repair, active hood repair, collapsible steering column repair, occupant module repair, rollover bar repair, custom seatbelt colors, seatbelt repairs, and airbag control module resets for those who cannot go without their vehicles. If for any reason we're unable to help you, we provide you your money back, guaranteed. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow our family-owned and operated small business on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. See you next time.